psychology is a scientific discipline. There's an interesting balance between the extent to which we are conditioned by our culture, the time we live in, and sometimes when individuals, maybe rare individuals, can break through a little bit perhaps, a bit more, you know, to, we talk about paradigm shifts, yeah, to, to go beyond that limiting time and place. Jung is one of those individuals, but, you know, he, exactly what you said, he was constrained. He wanted to come across as a scientist, and it was a challenge to him for most of his career actually. You're right. In the, la the last years of his life, I think he felt more freedom in that way. But let's not talk about Jung, because we're speculating a little bit, but I'll, I'll answer your question to talk about transpersonal psychology. But I mention that because I think it's a crucial point. You know, the, the, the science itself is changing. And, you know, there are huge movements, really big movements today, towards what we're calling post-materialistic science and you know that's a whole subject in its own right what is science science is a way of pursuing knowledge now of course there are many ways of pursuing knowledge science is a particular way which uses a certain set of rules around experimentation but in some ways we've almost come to the limits of that where that has led us you know, all the great advances in science in the 20th century, for example, they're, they're, you know, they're about experimental work to confirm hypotheses, etc. But when you look at the leading edge of, let's say, physics, which is probably you know, the queen of the sciences, today, relying on experimental verification is not always possible. You know, and I think that's true in psychology as well. There's a huge amount. I mean, psychology is... A scientific discipline over the 20th and early part of the 21st century. You know, so much has been discovered through scientific psychology. But the areas that we're interested in, that we're talking about here, it's not always possible to, to put it onto a short scientific footing. And I mean, an area that you know I spent most of my career exploring and writing about is that of consciousness. So there's a good place to start. You know, uh, many would suggest that consciousness is a product of, let's say, the human brain. Maybe some other animals are conscious, I don't know. It's, it's a product of the physical processing of the brain. That seems to be kind of uh, a faith backdrop for so many, for example, many neuroscientists interested in consciousness. But it's just that. It's a faith. And we have no no solid evidence to say that consciousness is nothing other than the product of the physical processes in the brain. Uh, you know, and I, my background is neuroscience. I, I, you know, I know all this research. The fact is that I, I sign up to a post-materialistic view of science. I think the consciousness, which is right at the core of these questions, um, is something that we are never going to understand fully if we restrict our lens to a lens of physicalism. So I would say that there is something about, about consciousness which is intrinsic to the whole cosmos. It's not solely a product of the human brain. The human brain maybe is the most exquisite focuser of consciousness in many ways. So we are conscious and we are conscious in particular kinds of ways. And, and we can look at all that in scientific ways. We can focus into the brain and which parts are doing what and the processes and so on. But the real question that is tucked in there which is about the essential nature of consciousness science as we know it today is not going to answer that question so when you ask me about transpersonal psychology and how it relates to science there, there, there are so many strands within transpersonal psychology but i think the bottom line and the, and the point that i would make in answer to your question is that we transpersonal psychologists a part of a movement to extend our paths to knowledge. And so we're not constrained by what I would say is an outmoded vision of science.